So what's the math to gear ratio? Well, that's why you're watching this video. Let's jump right in so you can figure out how to calculate even your most complex problems for your robot. Before we start, we have to clear up one thing. How many teach teeth each gear has? So, the large, this gear, has 60 teeth. The medium, this gear, has 36 teeth. And the small gear only has 12 teeth. Now, when a big gear powers, shown by the P, a small gear, then you would divide the driven gear, or the smaller gear, by that 60, which you would get five times the motor speed. Now, if the smaller gear powers a bigger gear, then you would get one-fifth, or one-fifth the motor speed. This is really helpful if you want to make a slow call, claw or really fast car with your robot. So, before I confuse anyone, this is only if you have a huge, complex machine that you need to figure out exactly what it is. For most people, all you have to do is know that a big gear powers a small gear. It will go faster. Now, what if you have more than three or two gears? Well, this. You could have a large gear, powering a medium gear, powering a large gear, powering a medium gear, powering a small gear, powering a medium gear, that powers a large gear. So, next, you have to do the division. So, the large gear powers the medium gear, and then you get one and two thirds. Three fifths, five, three, three-fifths. Now you have to figure out if you gain or lose rotation. So a bigger gear will gain rotations if it powers a medium gear. So plus, minus, plus, minus, minus. Now you're ready to simplify. Numbers! So after you do numbers, you'll eventually get to this. A 2 and 7 fifteenths increase of rotation. All you have to do is take that and then bring down the plus or minus and put it in front and then simplify from there. All it is is division, addition, and subtraction, and then you have your gear ratio. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind that this is only my second video, and there's plenty more content to come. Also, I always look at the comments, so if you have an idea on how to improve your robot or how I can make my videos be better, be sure to leave it down here. If you're still confused on what gear ratio is, go ahead and check out my other video, and it'll clear things up. Alright, come back next Monday, and we'll do whatever else I think needs to happen for your robot.